Well, good morning, everyone, and thanks for joining me today at Wynette's Crafting Corner. I apologize for the echoing, but I'm still kind of in an empty craft room. But I just wanted to take a moment and thank some people for their lovely comments. Barbara G., Catherine K., Cheryl D., Mare over at Lilac Pages, Charlene S., Sandy at Kentucky Crafter, Heather V., Faye J., Beverly M., who never misses commenting on my videos. Thanks, Beverly. Annette D., Deborah F., Colleen C., and Nick's Pretty Papers. Again, thanks so much for joining me, and I'm going to show you a little bit of the transformation of my craft room and the process. So, talk to you guys later. Bye! So I thought I would do a little craft room tour before and after. So this is actually my living room in my present house. And you can see it's very hodgepodge. I cannot wait to get into my new house and get it organized. I've got just things everywhere. Boxes on top of boxes. As I go around the corner, that's uh, my fabric, which is overflowing. I don't have enough room for it. I've got boxes underneath here. My washi tape. Then as we go around, this is my ribbon station. And then I've got some things here. And look at, I don't have hardly any room to walk through here. I've got these Ikea bookshelves. Up on the top, I had that completely full with all of my different journals, but I've gone ahead and packed them away. I've got ribbon some places, I've got paper some places. I've already packed up my envelopes. Um, then as we turn around here, there it's just, it's a total mess. And then down there in that corner is left over um, gray board and, and, you know, board for journals. Then, you know, I've got a little bit of mixed media. I've got this rolling cart here that's got stuff hanging off of it. I mean, uh, I cannot wait to get more organized. This is my scrap rack, which I absolutely love. You can just turn the pages and find what you need, but I want to get that completely reorganized. Again, stamps. It You know, I've got stamps, then I have threads, and then I have stamps. In my new craft room, I want a fabric and thread area, a stamp area. This is all of my punches. Again, some more of my, you know, this, look at, it's so hodgepodge, it drives me crazy. Uh, I've got a, a wall here with all my different ribbons, paints, my Copic markers. I'm working on a project right now, my Ireland journal so the desk is a mess there's all my stamping up ink pads and then as you go around just you know papers and then I even have some drawers here these I got at Michael's underneath the tables more and then we go back around. I've got my printer there and another little cart, but uh, it is so disorganized. So this is the before picture or video. And then 
as I move into my new craft room, I will do an after video. I thought I would do a little video update of the packing process and boy, did I have a lot of crafting supplies. Um, but it's exciting because I'm going to have a whole new craft room, sorry for the jiggling, with uh, Ikea furniture. So that's gonna be fun. So this is the front room of the house, which I am going to have it be my craft room. This is before it being painted. And just to show you, I drew out a little sketch so that I would know what kind of Alex drawers and Catalyx units to buy for the length that I wanted. There are three Alex drawers side by side and then a large Calyx and then two smaller calyxes on each side. You'll see it in the pictures later on in this video. So I thought I would give you guys a little sneak peek of my craft room or what will be my craft room. Now that is the front door to the house. And so as you come into the front door and turn to your left, there is this room here. And I've decided to use this room as my main crafting area. And the main reason is because of that window there, which points to the street. And so I will have really nice natural lighting for filming and for crafting. And then this area right here that I'm pointing to, I will have some Alex drawers and maybe a Calyx unit there. And then that area right there is where I'm going to have my television mounted. Then like I said, right underneath that window is going to be my craft desk. And I ordered it from Ikea today and it is 70, I think 78 inches long. And then it has two Alex drawers on both sides. And then this wall right here is going to be a lot of storage. And I ordered three of the really long Alex drawers and let's see, three of the Calyx units, which will go on top. So that will be storage there, both with drawers and cabinets. And then this wall right here, I would like to have it as a sewing area and have a table and my sewing machine there. And again, maybe some more uh, shelves on above it and so that's kind of my plan right now so i did go ahead and order the ikea furniture and it will be here on the third and then i'm going to take you into what will be my storage room for crafting so you can see back there in the background is the crafting room the main one I have this closet right now with all kinds of inks, pens, paints, things like that. I'm sure it will change once I get all my units in. And this right now has a lot of my sewing uh, supplies, fabrics and my sewing machine and what have you. 
my son's bedroom is to the right and this room is going to be I think storage for craft. I don't plan on putting a bed in here. The only people that come visit me are my sisters and my sisters can sleep with me. So uh, I do already have some um, bookcases from Ikea. I think there's gonna be one there on that wall. And then depending on my final decision for the sewing machine. I might also have my sewing machine there. I'm not, not totally positive yet. And then this wall will also have some um, bookcases and storage and what have you there. And then I have this closet here also, which right now has just a lot of my papers as I was you know, bringing it into the house. And so lots and lots of organization gonna be happening. And I'm gonna bring you along. There is a gal who has been doing a vlog of her remodeling of her craft room. And I must say, I've really enjoyed it because it gives you ideas. And so that's why I'm gonna bring you along as I redo my craft room. I hired someone to build my Calyx and Ikea drawers, my Calyx and Alex drawers, sorry. So this one here is gonna go on top, this one is gonna go on top of these three with these smaller units on each side. This is gonna be turned the other way up and those are gonna line that wall. And then my desk, desk here. And I'm still, I don't have anything planned for this area yet. Again, I may, I don't know. But anyway, that's the update on how the craft room is going and the house. We got all the furniture moved over yesterday. So today I'm just unpacking boxes. I'm babysitting that little sweetheart, Finn. Finn, hi grandma, hi baby. He is such a good dog. Anyway, I'm babysitting him for my daughter and um, He's been a little companion for me. But anyway, I will continue to pack, unpack. So here's a little update of how the room is coming along. So I do have the desk situated where I want it. However, the top is not attached to those Alex units yet. Um, I think I told you that I hired someone to assemble the furniture for me and they need to come do that. You hear that little rattling? That's that little sweetheart that I'm babysitting. I know, he's so cute. Anyway, and then this set of two drawers and you know paper holders there those are from michael's and i must admit if you want a comparison of the ikea furniture and michael's furniture i think ikea is much better made and a little bit more sturdy. Now, I'm not sure if that TV is gonna stay there. I, I really don't think so. I think I told you I'm going to have it either mounted to this wall there or to this corner here. I'm not quite sure yet. And then as we turn around, you can see that my 
Alex drawers and my calyx units are assembled and ready to be stocked up. That little cabinet there in the front, again, that came from Michael's and I'm not sure if my printer's gonna stay on that or not. I need to have it very accessible to me because you know when you're creating journals, you're copying things and what have you, so it might go over in that corner there. But I just wanna show you how nice these drawers are. Let me just pull one of them out. But they're really nice and wide, so they'll hold quite a bit there. So that's gonna be very, very nice. And then on this wall here, I think I told you uh, that I may have another table here. I had originally thought I would have a sewing room in that other bedroom, and I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. However, I think I might order another Ikea desk, a smaller one, and have my sewing machine there, and then maybe some cabinets around it. But let's go down the hall now. Come on, Finn, let's go down the hall. He has been such a good dog. I'm babysitting him for my daughter and son-in-law. <clears throat> and he is an absolute delight to take care of. Now, I had shown you before that I had some things in these closets here, but I took those out, uh, both because I needed a closet for, you know, medication and stuff like that, and then I needed a linen closet too. So all this is all of my craft supplies here. And this is, I think, going to be storage and organization. You know, I have an Etsy shop now, and so I need an area to hold the things that I'm selling. That's a bookcase there. I think all of my vintage books are going to go there and uh, albums and what have you. And then these are the Billy bookcases that I had. Leave my sewing machine alone there, Finn. These are the Billy bookcases that I had in my other craft room over at the other house. And I think I'm just going to house, you know, us uh, things there. I'll have like a mixed media area, a painting area, paper area. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep my paper in here or in the other room. And then I think I had told you that this desk here was going to be my sewing area. However, I think it's going to be a hassle to walk from the main craft room into this room every time I need to sew something. So once everything is cleared off of this desk, I may actually use it as what it's intended for is a desk or office area. And then this area here, oops, I almost tripped over something. Again, storage. So this is going to be a really, really nice room. Oops, sorry for moving around too fast. And then I have this really nice closet here that I'll be able to have stuff in. So coming together, I'm so excited. So I just wanted to share something with you that I found while I was packing up. You'll never know what you'll discover. These papers, look at them. They are, it almost looks like wood. And look at this gorgeous, gorgeous paper. I'm sure I bought these when I was in Egypt. And that was, I mean, several years ago, like eight years ago or so. And uh, aren't they just stunning? And I know it was before I was into paper crafting and journal making, but look at these. Aren't they fantastic? 
I don't know what to do with them yet, but aren't they just stunning? I mean, I don't know if I can scan them or not because they're such big images and I'm, see this is, this will crack if I try to fold it. But I just thought I would share that with you guys. And again, I wanna thank you for joining me in this little craft room reorganization tour and I will see you guys next Monday. Thanks. Bye-bye.